it was all so brash, so breathtaking, so invigorating. And for Derby, unique, their first championship. To go to the baseball ground was to wish you could play. Pinson, he's got Hector up with him. The others are arriving fast. Webster! Oh, yes! We excited. Uh, and what happened was, we were in such a situation at the baseball ground, everybody who came there was an intimate member of the place. We literally could lean over and touch. And when I used to sit in the director's box at one period of the time, I could literally whisper to any outside left or outside right that I had working with me. I had mean, you never whisper to anybody. No, I know, but I could. <laughs> and I didn't have to shout at the baseball ground. I had conversations with Alan Hinton many, many times because he's literally within touching distance. And everybody who came to the ground, whether it be journalists or whether it be supporters, home or away supporters, and players were infected by this. The baseball ground was built in 1889 and was for baseball before becoming the home of Derby County in 1895, in which it stayed that way until 1997 before closing. And City pay the price. Saunders makes it 3-0. The site was widely known due to its boggy pitch and atmosphere and held some huge football matches. Brian Clough and Peter Taylor are well known heroes for Derby County. In 2003 and 2004 the baseball ground was demolished due to the opening of the new stadium at Pride Park in 1997. As the ground was no longer needed, this upset many fans as they don't believe the stadium has the same feel and atmosphere. is now a housing development where only small signs such as walls now remain. A statue is in place near the old entrance and floodlight to indicate where the ground once stood. Also, if you know where to look, there are some other relics. 